The Collier Award-winning F-22 Raptor fighter has delivered on its promise to provide unprecedented air dominance. The F-22 fighter's unique combination of stealth, speed, agility and situational awareness, combined with lethal long-range air-to-air and air-to-ground weapons, makes it the world's best air dominance fighter. The F-22 is an American single-seat, twin-engine, multi-situation stealth tactical fighter developed and produced for the United States Air Force, USAF. An outgrowth of the Advanced Tactical Fighter, ATF, program, the F-22 fighter is designed to serve primarily as an air superiority fighter and must also have the capability to conduct ground combat, electronic warfare, and signals intelligence. U.S. company Lockheed Martin is the prime contractor responsible for producing most of the fuselage and weapon systems as well as performing final assembly, while partner Boeing is responsible for producing the wings, rear fuselage, avionics integration, and pilot training and maintenance systems. The F-22 Raptor fighter has many features in its system, including these four. 1. Sensor capability. 2. Integrated avionics. 3. Situational awareness. 4. Weapons that provide the first kill opportunity against the threat. F-22 Raptor introduced in 1986. The F-22 Raptor fighter has proven itself to be a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. It would make you think that the answer to Is the F-22 still in production? Is a clear yes. But the story is more complicated. Since the 9-11 attacks and the conflicts with Iraq and Afghanistan, the United States decided that the F-22 Raptor fighter is not needed in the mission, because in the future we no longer need the fifth-generation F-22 to destroy 50-year-old fighter aircraft. The old Iraqi MiGs. As a result, production of the elite fighter came to a complete halt and was discontinued. However, the F-22 Raptor remains a fearsome fighter for opponents and their enemies. The F-22 has many advanced technologies and has many advantages in the battlefield, friends should know about the F-22, especially about the cost of production of the aircraft and the technologies that exist on the stealth fighter. Listen to our explanation below. How much does the F-22 Raptor cost? Many are wondering. How much does the F-22 Raptor cost? And did price play a role in the production halt of the fighter? Let us tell you, it is not cheap at all. As the government debates whether going back to producing this elite fighter is a worthy investment for them, they should consider the cost of the F-22 Raptor and weigh the advantages and disadvantages they get from its production. The F-22 Raptor stealth fighter is the best of the best at the time of its use. However, the best of the best means that the investment is very expensive for the United States government. A report submitted to Congress in 2017 stated that if the government started to remanufacture the F-22, it would cost the United States a whopping $50 billion. That's just for 194 units of the fighter. At that cost, the F-22 Raptor would cost between $206 and $216 million for just one aircraft. In comparison, the price of the F-25 fighter is about $80 million per airframe, and the price per unit of the F-15EX is about $88 million. The cost of the F-22 Raptor would be too expensive when compared to the fighter aircraft the U.S. Air Force currently has. This means that returning it to production is likely. How many F-22 Raptors does the U.S. have? To date, the U.S. military has 186 F-22 Raptor stealth fighters. Of these 186, only about 130 are operational, and unfortunately, the number of combat-ready F-22s is now likely to be in the double digits. Despite the exorbitant cost, the F-22 Raptor fighter leads by example. When the U.S. government weighed their options, they decided that going back into F-22 Raptor production at this time was not a good investment, as the cost of the F-22 Raptor would be too expensive for the government. 
as the number of operational F-22 Raptor fighters continues to dwindle, they will be remembered as one of the best fighters in the air. The age of technology is forcing ingenuity and data to combine with the aim of creating a more advanced and efficient fighter aircraft that is deadly, even more capable than the F-22 Raptor. We have moved into a different age, and fighters like the F-35 are now beginning to dominate the U.S. air fleet. The government is always trying to find the best way to save money to produce high-quality fighters, and the F-22 Raptor is expensive for them to produce. Can the F-22 fly into Russia undetected? No, US F-22 stealth fighters approaching Russian airspace will be detected by Russia's Voronezh radar. Over the past few years, Russia has built a robust UHF and VHF radar network that covers all of Russian airspace. Below is a map of their coverage area. They are capable of tracking 500 targets at a distance of up to 6,000 kilometers. Why isn't America selling the F-22 Raptor to other countries? The F-22 Raptor stealth fighter is the first fifth-generation fighter aircraft and is the most advanced and fearsome fighter aircraft until now even though the F-22 Raptor made its first flight 21 years ago, 1997. Dot, then what does this have to do with not being sold to other countries? We need to know that the United States designed and researched the F-22 Raptor fighter aircraft itself without assistance from other countries, unlike the F-35 fighter aircraft whose design was assisted by several of their allies. This aircraft is also the most expensive fighter in the world, but several countries are interested in buying it, and the most interested is Japan. However, the United States did not sell it to anyone even though it was to their closest allies because it was very feared that they would tell the stealth technology of the F-22 stealth fighter to China or Russia. In other words, the US designed and developed the F-22 stealth fighter itself, which of course cost a lot of money for research and so on. So what is the reason for selling this most advanced fighter to other countries? Money? I don't think the US needs the profit from this project. Friendship slash alliance reasons? The Allies did not even help the US to make it. How come it's so good to just play bye-bye? This is not a matter of money. It also concerns the pride of a nation. Of course the US is very proud to have the most advanced stealth fighter in the world, making other countries afraid and making them more respected. America's overwhelming air dominance. If the F-22 fighter is still urgently needed, the Pentagon has every right to fight for it even amid fiscal constraints. But the US military enjoys an overwhelming advantage in the air today, and no other country has been able to catch up. Operation Desert Storm against Iraq in 1991 clearly demonstrated the extent of the American military's air dominance. The US-led multinational coalition lost a total of 38 aircraft in the Persian Gulf War, a very small number by historical standards. More impressive, and even more relevant to the F-22 debate, is the fact that only one coalition aircraft was shot down in an air-to-air -air encounter. The Air Force's primary fighter, the F-15C, conducted 6,000 missions without losing a single one in combat. Desert Storm was no fluke, as the recent Operation Allied Force against Serbia reminds us. NATO lost only two aircraft in more than 35,000 combat missions, a lower loss rate than even training missions. The United States is the world's greatest aerospace power and will remain as dominating, with or without their elite F-22 fighter, for years to come. Data shows part of the reason, 
The U.S. armed forces have at least a 50 to 1 advantage in modern combat aircraft over Iran, Iraq, North Korea, and even China. Radar. The N-APG-77 radar has been developed for the F-22 fighter by Northrop Grumman Sensor Electronics and Systems Division and Raytheon Electronic Systems. The radar uses an electronically scanned active antenna array of 2000 transmit receive modules, which provides the radar with agility, low cross-section, and wide bandwidth. Deliveries of the N-APG-77 began in May 2005. Turning on a radar can be like turning on a flashlight in a dark field it can be seen further than the holder can see with it. Northrop Grumman's and slash APG-77 radar uses hard to detect, agile frequency, beams that are very difficult for the enemy to see. Active electronically scanned array, ASA, radars are becoming more common on fighter aircraft. Due to their increased reliability, power, and flexibility, the F-15 fighter is being fitted, and the F-35 fighter will carry a smaller but similar and slash APG-81. Future ASA capabilities may also include electronic warfare and high bandwidth communications. Embedded sensors and sensor fusion. The goal of this technology is to have the pilot focus on dealing with the enemy, rather than dealing with the aircraft. Now, fighter aircraft have multiple sensors and information sharing links, which are shown on multiple displays that often require pressing a button to switch back and forth. The F-22's Central Integrated Processor CIP, boasts the equivalent of two Cray supercomputers, which are used for sensor fusion that aims to put all the collected aircraft information into one simple display. In addition, the Radical Departure design embeds passive sensors for various wavelengths around the aircraft structure. This greatly improves first detection capabilities. Even with radar off, and the combination with sensor fusion means that F-22 pilots almost certainly know where their opponents are located. The F-35 fighter uses even more modern internal electronics and a wider array of sensors. These include infrared and TV sensors that can be used to target both air and ground enemies at the same level as top-end targeting pods and IRSD, infrared search and track, air-to-air -air systems. Armament. A variant of the M61A2 Vulcan rifle is mounted internally over a proper air intake. The General Dynamics Linkless Ammunition Handling System holds 480 rounds of 20mm ammunition and feeds the gun at a rate of 100 rounds per second. The F-22 fighter has four canters on the wings, each rated to carry 2,270 kg, which can carry the AIM-120A AMRAM or external fuel tanks. The Raptor has three internal weapons bays. The main weapons bay can carry six AIM-120C AMRAM missiles or two AMRAMs and two 1,000 pounds GBU-32 combined direct hit munitions, DAMs, DOT. The bay is equipped with an Edial Corp lau 142 a AVIL AMRAM vertical ejection launcher which is a pneumatic ejection system controlled by a management system. The Raytheon AMRAM air-to-air -air missile is an all-weather short-range medium to radar fire and forget missile. The side bays can each be loaded with one Lockheed Martin slash Raytheon AIM-9M or AIM-9X Sidewinder short-range air-to-air -air missile. GPS-guided, Boeing small-diameter bombs, SDBs, 
were integrated on the F A22 in February 2007. Eight NABBS can be carried out with two AMRAM missiles. The F-22 fighter is designed to carry air-to-air -air missiles that are stored internally in the fuselage so as not to compromise its stealth capabilities. The launch of the missile is preceded by the opening of the ordnance valve, and then the missile is pushed down by the hydraulic system. The aircraft can also carry bombs, such as the Joint Direct Attack Munition JDM, and the newer Small Diameter Bomb SDB. In addition to internal storage, the aircraft can also carry ordnance on four external points, but this greatly reduces its stealth, speed, and agility. For backup weapons, the F-22 carries an M61A2 Vulcan 20mm automatic rifle stored on the right side of the aircraft. This rifle carries 480 rounds and is depleted when fired continuously for about 5 seconds. However, the F-22 can use this rifle when fighting undetected, which will be needed when the missiles are exhausted. F-22 Raptor Stealth Mode to War Fighting Capabilities Reporting from the Boeing website, the F-22 Raptor fighter is one of the U.S. Air Force's fleet combat aircraft. The F-22 Raptor fighter is claimed to present a powerful combination of stealth, speed, maneuverability, and war fighting capabilities. A series of sensors and weapons that are said to be very lethal guarantee air dominance and support the mission being carried out. The U.S. company Boeing partnered with Lockheed Martin to design and install modernization upgrades for the F-22 Raptor, enabling pilots to maintain air superiority. In addition to performance-based logistics support on several F-22 components, the Boeing company also provides pilot training and maintenance to ensure round-the-clock mission readiness. The F-22 Raptor maintenance training system includes a series of high-fidelity training devices laboratories and classrooms that provide theoretical and hands-on maintenance training. Also read, specifications and price of French Rafale fighter jets to be purchased by Indonesia. Engines. The U.S. stealth fighter F-22 Raptor is powered by two Pratt & Whitney F-119-100 engines. The F-119-100 is a low-bypass turbofan engine after combustion that provides 156 knots of thrust. The F-119 was the first fighter engine to be equipped with wide hollow cord fan blades installed in the first stage. Thrust vectoring is controlled by Hamilton Standard Dual Redundant Full Authority Digital Engine Control FADEC. The FADEC is integrated with the Flight Control Computer in the BE Systems Vehicle Management System. Cockpit The cockpit is equipped with a hand-on throttle and control stick HOTUS. The cockpit has a six-color liquid crystal display. The Kaiser Electronics Primary Projection Multifunction Display provides a planned view of the air and ground tactical situation including threat identity, threat priority, and tracking information. Two displays provide communications, navigation, identification, and flight information. Three secondary displays show air and ground threats, management stores, and air threat information. B Systems Head-Up Display HUD, shows target status, weapon status, weapon envelope, and fire cues. A video camera records data on the HUD for post-mission analysis.
the case of the F-22, the Air Force and Secretary Cohen have several arguments on their side. Air control has been a prerequisite for military victory in most wars over the past 60 years, and the F-22 has more speed, stealth capabilities, computer capabilities, and advanced avionics than anything we have today, and anything the rest of the world will be able to build in the coming decades. In particular, enemy radars will have a harder time picking up the F-22 than they do detecting current fighters. Given these attributes, it has a high production cost, reaching $125 million per aircraft, according to the latest Congressional Budget Office CBO, estimates. Production of the F-22 was terminated. In 2002, the Boeing company delivered 2,000 pounds, 907 kilograms, of titanium and composite wings for the first F-22 production aircraft. By April 2005, Boeing had delivered 61 wing sets and 66 rear bodies as well as a number of integrated avionics flight test packages and updates to Lockheed Martin. The F-22 fighter won the prestigious Collier Trophy in 2006. After that, it was surrounded by controversy about its cost and suitability in the post-Cold War environment. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, the next generation of Soviet fighters meant to dominate in aerial combat never materialized. The U.S. Department of Defense announced the decision to end production of the F-22 fighter in April 2009. The U.S. Air Force received the last F-22 fighter in 2012. In September 2014, the F-22 Raptor made its combat debut in a coordinated strike with other fighters and bombers against ISIS in Syria. A better solution for the Air Force, the U.S. Air Force plans to replace its entire fighter inventory with F-22 Raptor and JSF fighters over the next two and a half decades. What the Air Force should do is buy F-22s and JSFs in small numbers, and fill out its force structure by producing more F-15s and F-16s. The latter are hardly outdated. It has better engines, radars, and targeting and navigation systems than when it was first developed in the 1970s. In the future, these fighters will also carry better munitions such as sensor-fueled weapons that carry many smaller munitions that can automatically seek out tanks and other armored vehicles. The F-15 and F-16 fighters will also benefit from increasingly capable support assets such as STARS-equipped aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles for reconnaissance. Instead of buying 339 F-22s, the Air Force should buy about 125 aircraft, enough for one war. That's how many F-15 CR superiority fighters were used in Desert Storm. This number of Raptors would provide protection against strategic and technological surprises, such as an increasingly powerful and hostile China, at a modest cost. The total savings would be around $10 billion. Thank you contains appreciation for those who have listened to the presentation we have done from beginning to end.